We have today a special guest going to the hospital. It's early in the morning. We've been up and at it and we've been doing homework. Boo! Boo. And Gabby's been hard at it and she's the one who woke me up and said, Let's get homeschool going. No, because mom would complain. Oh, Dad. because mom would complain. Yeah. Mom would complain if, if we weren't up and doing homeschool. So yeah. we're doing homeschool. We have a special guest going to the hospital and we'll be tagging along with them. Oops, did I say too much already? Yeah, you'll be tagging along with us. Maybe he'll be tagging along with us. Good morning guys, welcome to today. Um, I decided I want, like, I miss you guys so much. It's a bit lonely here and I miss vlogging. I do it every single day and now suddenly I'm not. Um, I decided that maybe I'll try today to vlog a little bits of my day and Sam can add them into the vlog. I'm using my phone, which is terrible, but I asked him to bring me a camera, so hopefully that will work out. Um, I It is 9 a.m. I have not gotten clean. My hair is the same as it's been for four days, five days, you guys. I need a bath. <laughs> um, I've just had breakfast. So I had coffee, oatmeal, which I didn't eat, um, milk, which I didn't drink, a muffin, which I didn't eat, um, some juice, which I didn't eat, drink, because that's a whole other story. Um, but I did have a piece of cheese, so I had a coffee and a piece of cheese. But a friend is going to come and bring me an amazing meal. I find that I can't eat any junk food while I'm here. Alright guys, I know we haven't really talked about this, but Laura's getting a visitor today. And I'm calling this Operation Condor. Operation Condor is on the way. And who do we bring into the hospital? Levi! We got this. <laughs> pet carrier and we got Levi in there and hopefully we can sneak him in. And your yeah, mom has no it. idea that Levi is coming. Thanks for be excited? Yeah. <laughs> we got school work done and now we're off to go to the hospital. The idea of food kind of makes me sick but like I'm craving meat and vegetables so badly and she made this amazing meal and she's going to bring it to me. Um, I am getting ready and waiting for the nurse to come. I've just had my medication. I'm waiting for her to come and she's gonna help me use the washroom. So to go to the bathroom, they bring the toilet right up to the bed. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that machine over there. So basically I use the arms of it to pull myself up and then I stand up and then she wheels it and turns it and sets me down on the toilet. Um, it's not that fun, but as long as my pain medication is up, it's not that bad. Sometimes I use this. So I don't know if you guys can see that walker there. That's what I used last night. Um, the whole peeing thing has been a really big issue for me because it hurts so much after I get up that I don't want to do it. So I pee only once in 12 hours. So the last time I peed was about 12 hours ago. But then the pain of my pelvis being full is almost as bad as my legs aching. Um, so I don't know what is better. Far so good, eh? <laughs> we did it. So far, so good. Shh. Wait, I'm here. All right, we got a surprise for you. I know you're having a party here with everybody, bringing you stuff. I, um, I had a friend come in. I actually made a little stand there for him. Oh, okay, let me see. Oh, he loves it. Oh my goodness. You guys, he sees me. He's like, Mama. I can't believe they brought him. Hi. He's chewing the So he's right? got a little, this is like a little bird stand here. And he yes, actually is so good. 
I love it. I cannot believe they brought me my bird. Oh, look at him. He's just climbing right out. <laughs> Levi. Watch the Hello. cords here. Give me kisses. He wants to draw. Yeah, he wants all my cords. You cannot have my cords. No, no, no. Come back down. I know. He looks so different. He looks totally different. Levi. Hello. Hello, handsome. Stay over here. Stay over here. Hello. Oh my goodness. I need to take a picture. Look at how happy he is, you guys. He's like my mama's back. Hello. Hello, handsome. Oh my goodness, you guys. Bite my skin, you little monster. Oh, he's my mama's boy. Hello. Oh, I miss him so much. Thank you for bringing him. What an amazing surprise. Oh, imagine being a nurse and coming in and seeing like their patient sitting with a bird on them. Look at how happy he is to be with me. You guys, I should say that like my family have been taking really good care of him. You guys have been taking good care of him. Every day they FaceTime me, Sophie FaceTimes me and shows me him. Aww. I love him. Good boy. Okay, now's the time to clean. Um, so my friend from our old barn, she came to visit me and she brought me this big huge roast beef dinner with them um, with oh my gosh, gravy and and little tiny baked potatoes and it was so good. I, my stomach shrunk so much I could only eat a little bit and I'm like you're not taking the rest home. Like this is the supper that I got from the hospital. The lunch, mac and cheese and peas. And then I had like this amazing gourmet meal from her and she's such a good cook. And I'm not a gravy person. Her gravy had no salt in it and it was like oh, the best gravy I've ever had in my life. And I crave meat right now, so I'm so grateful. So this is it. Pet gear. Like, oh my god, we have to go back. And so they so here's this little perch. And then here's this toy that they brought him. He was chewing this. And this. Yeah, but anyway, it's made like for, for animals so that it's not like so that he can't chew through it. And, um, oh, he's gonna chew the, the oh, zipper. Yeah, no, don't let no, him chew no. the zipper. Um, but yeah, it's super handy to have. Like, I can't believe I have a bird in the hospital. So, are you guys excited to hear the news? I found out when I'm gonna come home. Are you excited? Are you ready to hear it? Next Tuesday. They wanna move me to a rehab unit for the next couple of weeks. Two weeks. Wait, what floor is that? Yeah, is that in the hospital. Six? I don't know. They have a wing. Do you have a big room? I don't know. Oh. For three weeks? Two yeah. weeks. So then I'll be in the hospital for three weeks. Um, so basically what she told me was that I have like choices to make and to just think about it and stuff. So she told me that um, I could go home Hopefully before Christmas if I work really hard, they're gonna just keep assessing me and then I'll get to see um, I could go home, but it will be like with a wheelchair and a commode and then I'll be just walk pivot sit Hi, he's like take me home It'll be like walk pivot sit. That's all I'll be able to do. So on um, then I'll have like Can we call this, please, Naomi? Then I'll have nurses that'll come in and take care like not nurses like home care people that will come in and take care of me and stuff but I won't like I'll have a lot of work to do on my own at home or I could move to the rehab unit and stay there for two weeks and go home walking independently so I have to choose like well, just comment, that, please, Elizabeth. comment below what you guys think is gonna be my choice because you guys know me you know what I'm about you know what I like you know who I am comment below what you think I'm gonna choose um, I can stay for two weeks and go home Oh, he's, every time I say go home, he's like, yes, go home. Go home walking, or I can go home and do a lot of the work on my own with a rehab person coming to our house. But when I go home, I'll just be doing, I'll, I'll be like having to do all the things the nurses do for me now, like help me to get up to the washroom and stuff. I'll have to do it all on my own, and I'll have a wheelchair, and I'll only be able to stand up, pivot to the bathroom, pivot back to my chair, and then, yeah. So those are my choices. 
so exciting. What do you think I should do? What would you want me to do? Stay for two weeks? No. Or come home now, as soon as possible? You'd have to take care of me if I come home as soon as possible. You forgot your math? Dad. Her how to do math, but she doesn't want to yeah. watch a video. No, I watch videos sometimes too. And that did not help you. Okay, so um, Sophie was face timing me this morning. She's like, Dad sucks at teaching. I'm like, oh, look at my boy. Look at you guys. Like, birds don't always just sit on your chest. Like, they wander around, especially him, but he's just so happy to have me. Say hi. You guys, I cannot believe how happy he is to have me here. Like, look at this boy. He just keeps staring me in the face. All right, and grooming himself, but he just keeps staring at me. Like, people might not, might think it's crazy because he's just a bird, but he's not a bird. He's like, he's like, he's hiding. <laughs> he's like a dog. Like, he's just sitting here staring right in my face and so excited. Apparently nobody scratches uh, Levi's beak. So this is something I do for him every single day. I get all his itchies away at the top of his beak. And apparently nobody's been doing it because he's been making me do this for like 10 minutes straight. Mm -hmm. I feel like the bird is like, oh, thank goodness, my mom is back. So that's so funny though. Like he's just so excited to see me. Daddy. Yeah. Oh yeah. So my friend brought me like this big meal and she brought me napkins and I saved wow. some. Yeah, and she brought me jewelry. Oh, he has a cold. Is there something wrong? No, this is the first time he's doing that. No, he did it at home. He's oh. talking to you. This better not hurt my bird, steal my bird. Well, it's been a long day and we've been relaxing and take a look at this. 70 degrees was 69 degrees a second ago until I guess I touched it and turned up to 70. We have no heat now. The water pump to the house, because our house uses water pump, broke. And no one's coming to fix it till the morning. So we might be freezing half to death here. I know, and that's why we're going to the hospital. We're going to the hospital to warm up. No, I'm just kidding. We're going back to the hospital to visit Laura again. Because that's what we said we'd do. We had some pork chops for dinner, right? That was yummy. I had toast. You had toast? I hate pork chops. Finally, it was the day that I got to cook something and instead of eating out like we've been doing every like single day. Everybody likes eating out because it's easier. You don't have to cook, you don't have to clean, right? And it's better. And you can have whatever you want. I have something. But you know, there's only so much McDonald's I can eat. Tomorrow we go to Wild Wings. <laughs> tomorrow Wild Wings. No, tomorrow we have- Tomorrow work. is a very busy day. Tomorrow we are going to- Riding. We have the oh, guy wait, coming no, to fix the furnace. Tomorrow we're doing Subway. We have a guy coming to fix the furnace. We have- Riding lessons tomorrow morning. morning. So hopefully he fixes it quick. And then I have Laura's chair coming. The special chair I ordered for Laura. Okay, I need. It's coming time. because once we get that chair, Laura might be able to come home early. Okay. And we're gonna have lunch. And we're going to the farm. To we're going to the, the farm internet. to get the internet sit hooked up so it's ready for us by the end of this month. All right guys, we just saw some horses, so we're gonna go on this horse ride before we go see Laura at the hospital. Let's see if we still have time. What's today? I think it's tomorrow. Monday, uh, nine o'clock. Okay, so we still have time. Nine o'clock, we have time. Let's go in and see if we got hot chocolate. Yep, hot chocolate and cookies, hop in there. But what else could you want for today, eh? To ride the horse. Oh, it's hot. That is hot, hot chocolate. Mmm. Go. 
Santa, oh. Santa for what you want for Christmas. Um, I already have a Christmas. You already have a horse you want nothing else for Christmas. Sophie wants a new horse. She's gonna freeze. Yeah, she's gonna freeze. But we're gonna go on it anyways. <laughs> Better than going on tomorrow when it's probably gonna be colder. Here we go. See the horses. This one's Susie. This is Susie. Hey Susie. Hi Susie. Hi Susie. They're halflinger. They're half halflinger. Quarter quarter what? Welsh. Welsh pony. And quarter quarter um, Belgian. Yeah. And half halflinger. Kind of look like a halflinger, don't they? Yeah. Okay, stand there and take a picture with you. See you later. See you later. Oh, beautiful little pony. It's 7.30 now. The um, family went home and then came back. Um, I love they come twice a day. And I had um, some friends stop by today. And um, the days just seem to fly by. Like, it just goes by fast. I mean, it takes me 40 minutes to go to the bathroom. So yeah, it just kind of flies by. But anyway, things are progressing really nicely here. I'm doing really, really, really well. Mornings, I'm always a little bit weepy, but I think it's because I haven't had my coffee yet. Um, so uh, tomorrow is a really big day for us. I won't be there, but I'll still, I mean, I'll still video, but, um, Sam and the girls are going to the farm to do a, like a little last walkthrough. If he can, he's going to try and video some of it and give you guys a little sneak peek. And the girls have their first riding lesson since my fall. And um, I don't know what's going to happen there sometimes. Which I did not get to ride the day that mom fell because I had an ear water on storm. And after mom fell, like when she was on the ground still, I was complaining because I didn't get to ride. Yeah, like, so Sylvie was sobbing and she was so upset. And Gabby's mm -hmm. like, oh, you'll be fine. You're going to the hospital. When do I ride? And I'm like, Gabby, you can't. Like, I'm screaming. I'm like, Gabby, you have to put your horse away. And she's like, oh, I have an ear bonnet on him. <laughs> she was so excited to use the ear bonnet. But anyway, yeah, she was just kidding. Um, She clearly, obviously, wasn't going to be able to ride. But she's excited to finally have her lesson. I wanted to make up that lesson, but it didn't happen somehow. Um. Anyway, so that the so there's gonna be a farm. There's gonna be riding. And there's gonna be um, some special deliveries. There's this. It's gonna be a big, exciting day. I apologize so much for um, the craziness um, of this vlog with just a little bit of whining me. And um, I know that 
things are gonna be a little bit different right now while Sam is editing the vlog, but I can assure you that it's not gonna last for long. Um, anyway, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your continued support and love and kindness. It's been amazing. I appreciate you so, so, so much. You have no idea. Um, uh, reading all your guys' comments while I'm laying in here doing nothing has been a life saver for me. So thank you guys. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.